not Mr. Phillips, it's called. I'm actually the last speaker before you are free to go. Um, and a part of the reason why we're here today is actually to do the soft launch of this effort and initiative, right? And I think you've heard from our speakers, our panelists, that this is really gonna be an ongoing effort. It's gonna be iteration and it's gonna be focused on really building a culture of collaboration and openness, not just in state government, but across our jurisdictions. And this is why we are here today to do the soft launch of Code California. And so I don't wanna keep you here much longer, but do wanna let you know that this is gonna be, or it is a holistic approach. The Department of Technology released a policy this summer. Um, we have the playbook or a draft playbook in place that has actually been developed and you can all see it if you go to go.code.ca.gov. I do want to give a shout out to Luke, who's in the audience, who actually put a lot of work and effort into this initiative, including the fancy and really nice sticker, stickers that you can all pick up on your way out. Um, in order to be able to continue to expand this, this community, we need to engage, right? So the plan is to, uh, starting in 2019, in collaboration with the tech community at the state level and other efforts, we'll be able to uh, release a series of events to be able to continue to gather your thoughts on, on what we really need to prioritize and include into this playbook, right? Because we don't have all the answers quite yet, and maybe we never will, right? And so as part of this effort, we wanna make sure that we do get your input, that you stay tuned in all of the different uh, initiatives um, and, and things that we'll be sharing through go.co.ca.gov. We have, um, we'll be able to have a governance uh, structure in place that we'll be, we'll be able to build with our, our tech leaders here at the state level. Uh, we have a platform in place, and obviously there's an emphasis on cross-collaboration across the different jurisdictions with the private sector, but also the local and, and federal level. And so this is a long way of saying this is not just for the state of California. We're really trying to build a broader ecosystem of partners and, and, and first and early adopters, people that really believe in, and not just the technology of open source, but the culture of an open organization and an open government. And so we're looking forward to iterating and evolving this effort with you all. This will affect you as the public, right? So we'll have the network. We have a Slack channel that you can all join. Uh, you all will be users uh, and members of this broader initiative that is Code California. But ultimately, our state government and the government partners will be the ones leading the charge and implementing the policy and, and really leading the best practices and coming up with those templates uh, and, and things that we'll be able to use to better uh, educate ourselves and, and how we're, we're building this movement and this broader initiative. And so as I've mentioned, you can go to gocode.ca.gov to learn more about the policy, the platform, and the playbook that's still in draft form and we'll continue to stay in that form until we, we're all comfortable in saying, okay, this is our stamp of, we cannot go to, from alpha to beta. Um, the playbook will incorporate and it does have the why, right? Like we need to emphasize why we're doing this in the first place. Uh, I think we're at an age where government is, is adapting and not just government, as you heard from, from our vendor panelists, this is really where the industry is going to forward as well. And so I think we, we can leverage and benefit from the energy that's been developed across the different sectors to really figure out better ways to work together. Through this initiative and this effort, uh, we'll have the best practices and tools as I keep referencing. Um, and my call to action to you all is to really go check out what we already have out there and give us your feedback. Uh, we can't do this without you. Um, and we really look forward to having you join this community and this broader initiative that is going to be ongoing, it will evolve, and, and will adapt to, to whatever it is that we'll have to adapt to, right? Um, so with that said, I do wanna thank you, and uh, thank you for spending the, this morning with us. Uh, I wanna thank the speakers and, and everyone else that's really part of this broader initiative. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that I haven't thanked, I feel like I'm giving, like, I just got an award or something. Um, I want to thank you for spending your morning with us, uh, for being part of this broader initiative, and I look forward to involving this effort with you all. Thank you.
I never introduced myself. Um, uh, just to wrap up, so I'm Angie. If you have any questions about what we're doing, uh, I am Assistant Secretary at Digital at the Government Operations Agency. And again, thanks.